So when we first thought about getting a dog for the family, we decided that we wanted to adopt. We did a bit of research here in Singapore about the different agencies, and we went and spoke to various agencies. We went to ASD, who were amazing and so helpful at guiding us through the whole process. It was really great, wasn't it? Very painless. Very painless, yeah. So we wanted a Singapore special because we didn't want to buy a dog. We wanted to rescue a dog. And we really thought about what kind of dog was going to be right for our family. And sometimes you just don't know what you don't know. So we needed a bit of guidance on that. And that's where ASD came in and really helped us out. We were talking to ASD and then they told us that there was a litter of dogs that needed adopting. So we went to go see them at a dog run. So we went there and there were four dogs left and three of them were kind of just together, you know, sitting together and just like playing with each other. And one of them was just so scared of his siblings, hanging out with the humans that he barely knew. And he was the smallest, being bullied by all his brothers and that's how he knew that we wanted that one. He's now the biggest of all his siblings, and he just turned a year old. So I had lived in Hong Kong for quite a long time before I moved to Singapore. And in Hong Kong, the street dogs are called Hong Kong Specials. So I already knew the term Singapore Specials. I was familiar that that would be a mixed breed dog that you may never know what the mix is, and that they can come with some complications. You, you can't always be sure of how that dog's going to turn out. But what you can be sure of is that training will help. So that's what we did. And very happy to say our Singapore special doesn't bite furniture. (laughs) (laughs) He doesn't uh, uh, do anything in the house that he shouldn't do. So very well trained, lovely dog, good demeanor. Actually, we've been lucky. He He doesn't bite shoes. He does bite the garden. Like, I can't grow any plants. He bites everything in the garden. And we get asked this question a lot, why adopt a Singapore Special and take the risk rather than buy a beautiful pedigree dog and feel more comfortable that you're going to get a well-behaved dog? And for us, it's very simple. These dogs need homes. These dogs need adopting. And I don't like the concept of buying a dog anyway. When we eventually move out of Singapore, we are planning to take our dog, Maple, back with us to Canada. I think if you have a lot of love in your heart and a lot of patience, I think a Singapore Special is a great addition. So I think, you know, a dog is a member of your family, so it's someone who's going to be with you all the time, someone who you care about, they're going to care about you. So I think adopting a Singapore Special, they're great dogs. Um, They're very caring, very athletic, they're fun dogs, they're energetic. So I think if you're someone that likes a dog that's a bit more energetic, active, someone you can go out with and do things with. I think a Singapore Special is a great addition. We made a decision to move from an apartment to a house so that we could get a big dog. And um, that's what we did. He loves the garden. We love that we have the garden for him to run around in, and we just feel very lucky that we were able to make that choice. But there are lots of people that have Singapore Specials in apartments. The dogs are really happy and um, they do really well. As, so that you don't have to be in a house, is what I would say. What I would say is get help with training because you don't know what you don't know and, and we certainly needed help. We were very lucky. We went to Fraser Noble, who is an incredible trainer here in Singapore. We can't recommend him highly enough. Go and get some help. He trains you as well as training the dog so that we all get along really well.